Hi everyone, welcome back to B-17 The Mighty Ape Squadron Commander. Here we are in the corridor, awaiting to go into the briefing room to find out where we're going this week. So let's head on into the briefing room and find out what the crews are going to be bombing today. As always, thank you very much for the kind support from the last video. If you like what you see and you want to see some more B-17, please hit that thumbs up and uh, share with all your friends. And we'll make sure to bring you some if that's what you so wish. Right, let's read the mission briefing. So, the 12th of July, 1944, there's oil production facility at Richols, pronounced horribly, but there we go. Secondary target, the um, Sturkrad oil, or Holton oil production facility, and the Wizzle Steelworks is the tertiary. Ordnance selected is 4 times £1,000 general purpose, and 10 times £100 incendiary. Distance farthest this target, 749 miles. Uh, fighter escorts for this mission will be two squadrons of P-51s. Uh, so the primary target has a flak strength moderate, fighter strength low, priorities high, damage currently none. So we haven't targeted this one before. It's a very small facility concerned with the storage and further refinement of oil products. These facilities, although small in size, produce important types of fuels useful for aircraft and vehicles. Hitting these targets will affect local fuel levels and lower general uh, supply generally. And then we've got the Holton Oil Production Facilities. Flak strength moderate, fight strength moderate, priorities high, damage none. Um, it's part of the German Synthetic Oil Program. Hitting this target will reduce local general supply of fuels and lubricant oils. Uh, key to military pre preparedness. And the tertiary target, flak strength high, fight strength moderate, priority medium, damage none. Everything military uses steel to a greater or lesser extent. Steel is one of the most important raw materials of any war effort. Reducing steel output has a direct effect on the production of tanks, guns, tools, U-boats, etc. So they are our potential targets for today. We'll just sign that we approve that and we'll have a look at the reconnaissance film. So here we are, low level reconnaissance run. Coming over farmland, looks like we've got a, a railway line there, I think. Um, and here we've got industrial zone around here. And you can see the, the towers and the storage tanks. And the pipelines between them there for the... Uh, and we've got a marshalling yard here. And more forest in the distance, so that's all pretty good. Quick look at the routes. There we go. So we'll be taking off, if I get the map, from um, Ridgewell. Heading out over Harwich, over the North Sea. Uh, coming down, where are we coming past? Eindhoven. And then decision point is here. Uh, and then we've got the primary target, which is here, just south east of Dusseldorf. Secondary target is here. Um, sort of northwest of Essen and up here we have the steelworks so quite heavy flak around here you can see by the the thickness of these lines shows how thick the uh, field is so it's, it's lighter here than it is here and around these industrial cities so yeah big thick um, fog big thick fog no big thick thick flak um, batteries and uh, capability around here we'll be then heading north and uh, escaping out through the uh, over the Isomir and away, yeah, and back down to uh, back down to Suffolk and uh, and back to Ridgewell. That's the plan. Hopefully, we'll get all our boys back. Now we only had five fit aircraft in mechanical A status, so I only selected the five that were mechanically A, and I'm, I'm guessing the computer will select the best of the um, the other damaged aircraft. So we'll see who we've got. Okay, let's get the mission started. Start so here we have, uh, lead is C Cup, which is a pretty rookie crew actually. One mission and two kills to her name. So um, she's lead flight. Number two we have Miss Irish, uh, who's, of course I always make the um, stipulation that these nose arts no longer match the names of the aircraft 99% of the time because of they are randomly assigned to replacement crews. Uh, so Miss Irish, who I think is the rookie crew, who I can't remember her name, uh, we got last time. Number three, we have Going My Way. Now, this is an original subscriber crew. You can see with the 
plentiful missions. I think there's about 10 missions there and numerous kills. So these have got our subscribers on board going my way. Next up we have Miss Chief and she's got four missions completed and about five or six kills to her name. Billy Boy's next, who was out last time, completed her first mission and her first kill as well. See the insignia painted proudly on the uh, side of the aircraft there. Next up we have Milk Run Mabel with two missions completed and about eight kills. Something ridiculous like that, that's pretty good. You are cleared for takeoff. Hi right, everyone, right, we're up and heading to target. We are currently 8.15 in the morning, coming up to 20,000 feet, speed of 151 and heading 092. Fantastic. So we've got the formation up, looking glorious, look at this. Got the moon up as well, early morning, moon is still up. So we've got the moon and the sun up. Fantastic. Fool's moon, I think these, is it, is it fool's moon? I don't know, but that's, that's lovely, isn't it? I love that. Right, anyway, we're going to get heading on to target and I'll bring you back when the action heats up. I'll see you in a little while. Welcome back, everyone. Right, we're still flying. Nothing happening at the moment. That is the city of Antwerp. Somewhere. One of those grey patches is Antwerp. Um, we're just sitting here quite nicely now. We're cruising at 26,500 feet. 150 speed and heading 198. Good. Um... We've been joined by our friendlies. Not sure whether they are though. Uh, we've got some Mustangs around here somewhere. Lost sight of them for the moment. But yeah, so far so good. Um, it's not looking too bad cloud-wise. Just taking a rough you know, look at the weather. Often you can try and gauge it and it's not looking too bad. Obviously it's a big thick patch of fog. Uh, fog? Why did I keep saying fog today? I said it in the case of flak. I meant to say cloud. Now I say fog again. Got fog on the brain foggy brain. Right, so we're coming up here. Yeah, we're coming up and oh, Antwerp's over there. Okay, so that's not one of these places. Um, so this point here is where the kind of the fighter ranges of the uh, the air bases of the, the German fighters. So um, we can expect some attention soon. We've got a, obviously base here, base there, base here. These are th and that one there. These four may send well, potentially that one as well fighters up to uh, intercept us um, we'll just see how that goes decision point is here so um, once we get this waypoint we'll be heading towards the decision point so we keep that in mind so Antwerp is that town there fantastic right nothing much happening at the moment so we're gonna press on and I'll bring you straight back when something does hi everyone just under the wing there you can see a little cluster of dots that, oh, we've got more coming in. Hang on. I saw those fighters. I didn't see those ones right behind us. Switching to ball. Got 109s. We've got another cluster of fighters coming in over here. Boom of the drop tanks hitting the uh, ground. Nothing to worry about. Can't see any traces at the moment. I'm sure there was. Maybe they were our friendlies I was looking at. 10 o'clock level coming in. 10 o'clock level. 4 o'clock level, see him. Switching to tail. Oh, we've got another one coming in. 190s and 109s. That's a friendly. Oh. 
God, we've got even more fighters coming in. I don't know who's who now. Four o'clock level. Ten o'clock level. Couple of hits on him. Mine low inbound. Oh, no, that looked like a um, Mustang. A fleeting glimpse I had of him. hits on him. Going far too fast to have a proper shot at. Okay, I've taken over one of the Mustangs because I thought we'd do something different. And we're chasing a fighter here. Where's this? We're not going to catch up to him, I don't know. I don't know where the... Um, Kind of lost the squadron a little bit, staying on his tail. Oh, didn't like that. Good hits. slow down. Oh god, we're flying against the um, formation now. There he is. Oh, this is scary. This is really scary. Lost him. Oh, the, the view is really vibrating in here. I don't know if I've got any damage, but... Okay, we're back with more. we got a a wingman on our side, um, having a shot at this 109. He's getting some good hits. We're just flying some cover for him at the moment. He's bailing out of that one, so we'll pick up the attack. Wait till we get a bit closer. Where's the squadron? It's quite interesting playing the uh, friendlies every so often, isn't it? Or the, uh, the, the, the escorts. See if we can get on his tail. Get a bit closer. Cut the back. We don't overtake him like we did last time. It's flying very straight and level, which is very dangerous. But it would be if I had. There you go. Got some hits there. If I had any skill with this this aircraft. Worried about running out of um, Let's get nice and close. Oh, you're trying to shake me. Oh, no, you don't. Try to dodge me. Back on his tail. There's the squadron coming up. Oh, map ammo. No. Right, let's run some interference. Nothing else. Whoa, watch out for the aircraft. That's beautiful. It's down low. 
Not much I can do, I've got no ammo. I need to head for home, but if we can just keep him occupied, get him on his tail again, sit behind him. It looks like he's bugging out as well. Maybe we'll just chase him off a bit. Meanwhile, back with the formation as a friendly zooms overhead. Fantastic. I think we're clear for the moment. Some good work done. We've got a few hits on the lead flight here. Everyone appears to be okay. More bandits incoming. Got another squad coming in. Oh, 190s. And I think our escort has uh, probably used up all their fuel and ammunition fighting off the previous two... Um, Lots of fighters, so we, we're probably down to our formation of defensive guns now to see us through this engagement. Meanwhile, we must be getting closer to the decision point. We'll quickly snap away and have a look. So I hit the wrong keys. Um, oh, we're, we've long passed the decision point. Damn it! Been too engaged in the, uh, the conflict to uh, notice. Right, let's quickly check. Um, what the weather was at the primary. Ah, oh, it's rubbish. Secondary? Oh, secondary is no better. Uh, so the tertiary. Right, so it's tertiary is the best, but it's not. Well, it, it's probably doable, uh, but we're we're here now. Um, I think we'll go. We'll try a run on this one. It was cloudy, but we may get a break in the clouds uh, and see how we go. Right, let's hop on the guns as we're in the middle of a bit of a skirmish here. Good hits. How many hits is this? Oh, he's got a Mustang on his tail. Good. He's definitely out of there. And we filled him so full of lead. You could use any extremity as a pencil. As I think some of them was the terminology in the 90s. Right. One definitely down. I think... Oh, there's another one. Seven o'clock level. That could be that one going away. Switch the tail. Cover off the seven o'clock. I don't see him. Yeah, my primary two guns are the top turret and the tail turret. They're the ones you're going to get the most of the, uh, the kills from. He's got a Mustang on his tail. I was rather distracted by the, um, the tracers going that way. The bomb is jiggling about a bit. She's okay. Bombers seem to be all okay at the moment. I did a quick check earlier. All crew seems to be okay. I don't know if they had gone down, they've been patched up automatically by the rest of the crew, which is good. Good to see that happening. Tracers coming in. We've got an aircraft coming in here. Good hits, good hits. He's got one of our engines. We've got some good hits on him. And he's smoking. He's nailed. Good. Okay, I think we're in trouble. Yeah, we're in trouble. Typical. Right, we are struggling a little bit. What we're going to do... Oh, it's typical as the lead flight, isn't it? Um, fighter coming in. Switching to top gun. Oh, just got a snag. Just a snag. Oh, there he is. No, he's not. That's the Mustang. We're going to have to give up the uh, the lead of the, the formation, otherwise we can't be bombing, you know, like a half a mile behind them. Flak, flak ahead. Bombers cutting across our path. Right. Um, engineer. Open the bomb bay doors, please. I have to crank them open. So he should come through here in a second. Here he comes. He's going to start manually dropping the the doors, good. Meanwhile, you can watch him do it there. Uh, can we... Uh, 
I don't want to... I still regard it as lead flight. Maybe if I pick this bomber. I'll pick number two. Hop on the um, hop on the navigator's position. Um, if we have a look here, set the drums so we bombs so we can drop them over a space of time. Um, get that ready. Um, how's the cloud? Cloud's actually not too bad once this bit clears. I think the target's there though, isn't it? Oh, take manual control. Wait for this bit of cloud to clear, then we'll have a proper look. I can't see it at all. We have to cover a bit more ground. Obviously, we'll come into view, let the uh, scenery load in a bit more. Is that it there? I can see what it looks to be something like towers there. Ah, uh, yes, we've got some sort of road here. Okay, I'm going to go for there. Ah, I start, I'm starting to see it now. I can see it through the cloud. Uh, best part is probably target about there. Let's uh, get some fine adjustment. Still drifting slightly to the right. Correct that. Still drifting slightly, but bomb's gone. They should have. Oh god, why didn't the bombs drop? It's because it wasn't lead plane, wasn't it? Ah, bombs didn't drop. What bombs have not dropped? Have any of the other bombers dropped their bombs? No. Fighters coming in. Got him. But we're smoking. We're in trouble. Going my way is in trouble. She's already got an engine out and she's got another one on fire. Why on earth did they not drop the bombs? Okay, we just ordered the go round because obviously that bugged out. Um, so, what I've done, I've jettisoned the bomb from lead flight. Because, um, because it's just not... It's just, it's just freaked out again. Uh, so what we need to do, we can send him now to uh, close the bomb bay doors. He can sort of wind them back in. So the jets and the bombs from here. Hopefully that will give her the speed to catch up with the formation. And then maybe we can do the bomb run again. Although I'm, I'm actually inclined to probably send her home to let number two take over the, uh, the reins. Yeah, she's not gaining on the formation. So um, we're going to send her home on her own and hopefully the rest of the formation can then sort themselves out so um, we're gonna leave formation Pilot from navigator, take up a heading of two, eight, Repeat, two, so obviously eight, number four engine eight. is damaged so hopefully okay. they can um, make their way back meanwhile Miss Irish is gonna take over the lead Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is completely bugged out. Completely bugged out. We've got the formation just idly sort of drifting all over the place now. Um, look, that's just, this has just gone absolutely crazy. Uh, what we can try and maybe do is... It's not the navigator. What we need to do is um, try and get control of this. Oh, for God's sake. Um... If we switch to secondary and switch to tertiary, let's see if that updates the, the map and we can maybe... Ah, there we go. So hopefully we can... Maybe we'll bomb it from this side and then we'll go this way 
and then we'll go this way, and then we'll go uh, that way. There we go. Hopefully that will um, sort itself out, and they can. Ah, yes, they are turning. Finally, okay. Slight glitch, and I think that's because lead flight is, uh, or the old lead flight is still kind of hanging around. Yeah, here we are with Seek Up. She's in all sorts of bother. There's the um, oil refinery there, and she's just kind of doing loops of her. So this this aircraft is bugged out for some reason, and that's causing um, some issues. Whoa, okay. What are you doing? Let's get this aircraft under control. 277, let's bring this up. Um, 277 will be over here. Yes, yeah, so I think that was our target. Yeah, our engines are, are knacked, to be fair. I don't think she's going to get home. So, what I might do, uh, I'm going to do an emergency landing with this crew. I think. You know, they're not going to make it back. So let's try and take control, get the wheels down. Let's start bringing her in. There's a By that river, there's some fields. We'll get her down there. Right, and then we're going to have to run for some hayloft or some, or probably the woods, and try and uh, make our way back. Um, there's no guarantee that any of them can do that, but um, it's better to be prisoners of war than lose the guys do some um, dangerous flying and uh, crashing out. Our speed is down to 136. Difficult to judge our distance to the ground here, especially when we're not looking the right direction. Oh, it looks like these little white dots are sheep. We'll try not to kill it. Whoa, oh god, hang on, I'm losing control. Speed is dropping. Oh. Oh, we're down. Okay, she's down. We're on the bomb run. Oh, and she's locked on straight away. Look at that. Fantastic. Um, he's actually not trimming it particularly well. There you go. I just corrected it slightly. Actually, no, I haven't. That was on. He automatically did. There, there you go. That's better. Right, let me just take over. He's, uh, he's lost it a little bit. So this is the steel works. We drop about a lane for the middle. Of course, we've got aircraft on either side of us, so they should sort it out. Oh, you're trying to do is trying to fix the uh, the cross on a spot, and you know, make sure it doesn't drift or. You just hold that location. It almost looks like you're zooming in at a stage. Q. Bomb's gone. Hopefully. They haven't! Well, we may or may not hit... What is with this bugged? I've never had this before. There's the um, there's the target over there. You can see it. Boom, boom, boom. Unfortunately, because it's bugged, I can't get the camera, the target camera. So, but that looks like a pretty good. The whole target has been absolutely covered as the cloud comes over. Okay, that looks good, boys. I think we've got a spot-on hit there. Right. What is going on? Bugs today have been all sorts. I've never, never experienced that bug before. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, some good news. We have made it over the North Sea. 
heading back home now. Um, going my way has recovered from dropping low with the smoking engine during the flak and is uh, restored to us, which is grand. Um, she's still struggling along, but she is actually still coming along, which is grand. Right, so we're going to press on, hopefully keep these bombers all in uh, airworthy condition and try and get them home as quickly as possible. Holding about 140, that's good. Not sure which way the wind's blowing, so uh, we could be going crosswinds. Who knows? But all we're going to do is try and get these bombers down as quickly as possible. Right, quite a steep approach. Let's try and level this out. There you go. Bring the speed down as well. Flare and down. That's a bit hard. Oh, we did a bit of a bounce as well as we uh, took off from the grass, but um, going my way, our final, I think, original sub-crew is, um, is still alive, which is always good to see. Right, let's start closing down some of these engines. Okay, here we are, debriefing. Let's find out how we got on. July 12th, 1944, target attacked. The Rishol holds oil production facility. Distance flown is bugged out, that's common. Bombers lost missing, one. Enemy fighter shot down, nine. Bomb damage estimate, a complete miss. Complete miss! And I think I know why that's going to register as a complete miss. And I'll tell you that when we get to the uh, analysis. So, um, nine kills, one loss. Um, everyone, severe wound for Haynes. But um, everyone else... Oh, severe wound for Sawville. Um, and Dunn as well, and Wilson. But um, they're all alive, which is good. So, and this is what I suspected. You'll see this is where the target was, and this is where the little bomb scatter. So this is when we jettisoned lead the bugged lead flights bombs after the bomb run. So we jettisoned the bomb there, and that's what it's taken as the uh, bomb damage assessment. Whereas when we did the second run with the second lead flight, we absolutely annihilated the target. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't take too much credence in there. We did hit the target. Ah! Oh, there we go. Okay, brilliant. It has done it. So that was the, the primary target where we did the first run and it didn't work out, as I said. Then we went to the tertiary target and look at that. We nailed it. Pretty good. Um, So... No promotions this time out. Medals awarded. A Distinguished Service Cross for Hansen. Distinguished Service Cross for Stubbs. Um, Tozer got a Purple Heart. Wilson got a Purple Heart. Haynes got a Soldier Medal. Sawville got a Purple Heart. Fabini, or Fabiani, Fabiani, Fabiani got a Purple Heart. And Adam got a Soldier's Medal. Mission crews accounted for. Delta Rebel. Oh no. Force landing in enemy territory. One active, Fletcher, five prisoners of war, and one four missing in action. Oh Hansen. Hopefully, um hopefully we'll find them. Uh five obviously captured, one active, so Fletcher must have escaped and uh, got back to base. That's fantastic news. Grand. Oh my goodness, our squadron is struggling a little bit at the moment. Right, so we've got a new bomber, Excalibur, in bomber slot number one. Obviously, Mechanically A status because it's a brand new aircraft, a rookie crew. We're going to have to have a look at that, look after them. Uh, number two, we have Corn State Terror, who's completed her first mission. Fantastic. Uh, no kills to her name, but she has at least got that little bit of experience. Going my way, our original sub crew still going strong. 12 missions flown, 19 kills. Mechanically B status. Took a bit of battering on that one by the sounds of things. We knew she had an engine out and the other one, engine one was out and engine four was badly damaged. Uh, the Bad Penny, five missions, five kills. She's mechanically B status. We'll need some time to get that one repaired and back in the uh, the fight after this mission. Buccaneer 2, two missions flown, one kill, mechanically A status. So she will go again next time. Peace or Bust, four missions, four kills, mechanically B status. Hopefully we'll get those repaired fairly quick. Then we have Bomb Boogie. Four missions completed, five kills, mechanically A status. We'll be going again next time. Hell's Bells, two missions, two kills, mechanically A status. We'll definitely be going again. Night Owl, Will, 285. 
Still going strong there. Royal Flush. Three missions. Seven kills. Mechanically A status. Fantastic. Um, and that's it. We've still got some empty bomber crew spots at the end. Right, Ethan. Ooh, Ethan. Where have you come from? Ethan was one of our um, subs, wasn't he? Okay, have any more subs in here? We'll have to try and... Um, yeah, look, Ethan's had quite the... the um, he hasn't flown since the end of June. Um, he's currently assigned to ground duties uh, after his uh, injury. He got severe wounds. It's expected to be back in uh, a few days. Okay. Uh, Andy Batty. Not assigned. Obviously lost his aircraft. Need to get him uh, a an aircraft as well. We got another two Will two eight five. Um, yeah, I always remember for some reason we got two of them, two Wills. I'm not sure why that how that happened, um, but we'll obviously get that Will back in the fight as well. We've already got the other one, Liam Aldrich, Hell's Bell Gunner. He's uh, got quite the um, history as well. I had to read that. Donald Sutherland, uh, Corn State Terror. I thought he went down. Corn State, did we lose to Corn State Terror? Oh, she's still going. Um, oh, wow, we got a few people in here. Look at the history. These got these are experienced airmen sitting right here. But we'll go through those, see if there's any subs, and get those added back into a live aircraft if possible. But we're going to leave it there for this time. Thanks so much for watching. Another mission completed. Oh, squadron Commander, wow. They're getting tough, especially with some of these little bugs that are creeping in. It's a very old game, but... Um, uh, we, it's the first time we've experienced some of these issues so maybe there's something in Windows which is causing a new issue but we'll leave it there as I said thanks so much if you want to see some more as I said earlier please hit that thumbs up share it with your friends share on social media make this video go large and I will see you next time